We've now completed four days and it's becoming challenging. And I want you to understand that things that unfold for us in our respective journeys is not always going to be easy. We've talked about many things within these four days. We actually have made a commitment and a commitment that allows for us to be disciplined. But as the days come and go, our reserve begins to weaken. On this fifth day, it is difficult. And you've got to remember, let's not always be so rigid within that discipline. Allow for the body to be in relaxation. Allow for your thought processes to be in relaxation. The challenges come. It is good to be in solitude, isolation, quiet place. But I will also tell you, if you remain in that for an extended period of time, you begin to go against and defeat what it is that you're desiring to do. Let's today be a little bit more comfortable and talk about some things that are arising. The one topic that I'd like to bring forth today is balance. The journey in itself, it is a fine line. And our ability to balance that fine line is, is the challenge in our life journey. We can sit and speak about how wonderful things are and the intentions that we have, and it may be, and it is, good intention. You're wishing the best for your journey. You're wishing the best for those that are around you. But that balance, either side, can take you away from that focus. Allow yourself some time to have friendly interactions. But I also caution you that in those informal interactions with friends, friends don't quite understand where you are coming from. And because they know you, they may say things that in their minds may be uh, something that is just to bring joy to you. On the other hand, from your viewpoint, it may be something that is an issue that is concerning you. And their comments may hurt you. But if that happens to come about, don't allow yourself to return the response in negativity. Even if it is that they are really trying to bring you down, for they know that you're making an effort to better yourself. But let's not get into negativity. What I would like for you to really focus on is allowing that observation and the witness that is happening around. We can stay quiet, and when we stay quiet, it brings up many things. Of course, things that we do need to bring into a consciousness and bringing a resolve to it so that it doesn't continue to hurt us. But we've got to also remember if we dwell too much on that, it's not going to allow for us to evolve more. We're trying to better this, the silhouette allowing yourself that opportunity to be happy with yourself. Step out. I've done that today. I've done that to get a sense and breathe in the beauty of the surrounding. But I know that with this day's beginning, who knows what it's going to bring. I may have a negative comment. I may get a negative email. I may step into a situation that may be of challenge for me. But if it is that it comes to me, then I know that it is part of the initiations or the challenges that Spirit is bringing forth. 
I know there's many things that have come into your journeys thus far that have been difficult. But I've got to remind you, you are still in this human reality, this human journey. You are still breathing, so that gives you the blessings that you've got the ability to bring the resolve. Dear ones that may not be with us any longer, whether they have crossed over whether or whether they've just gone into different directions, we've got to learn to allow that reinforcement within. We know that there's a constant in change. But those changes can be embraced in a positive way. And allow for that light in the body to be there. I know that many times when we're speaking, we begin to go into a space that we reflect such a stoic features. And we need to come out of that, let the eyes twinkle, let the, the skin just sort of perk up a little bit and let yourself feel that it is all right. It is all right. And we need to understand we're only into the fifth day. And many of you I know, and, and I don't anger or disappoint or frustrate with that. You're going to be seeing this from this point on. Those of you that are with us right now in the initial time of unfolding. We're telling ourselves with this time we're going to make an effort. And we did say set some intentions. But if you don't meet those intentions, don't be too upset. I have enjoyed a candy bar, a chocolate candy bar, milk chocolate candy bar within uh, the last 24 hours. But you know, it doesn't devastate me. It allows for me to nurture me. I, it was my reward. Reward yourself. We said this within our last discussion. Give yourself the permission. Give yourself a reward. But that fine line is still there. Walk it as best as you can. But if you tend to teeter off onto the one or the other side, you always have the ability to come right back in and refocus, rededicate. Discipline. Discipline is such a harsh word, but again, we've got to realize that as we approach our next step, those chapters, those lifetimes yet to come, let us be in that straight forward path, a step at a time. And that balance is key. Remember, now that balance goes within also the yin, the yang, the black, the white, the masculine, the feminine, all of those things are a part. It becomes so complex. But we need to touch upon the simplicity of what Spirit is saying. You know that the things that allow for you to smile, you know the things that make you sad, you know your buttons, your triggers. But I'll learn to work around that. But again, take a look at the reality. We're not the sole individual that is birthed onto this Mother Earth. We have got all of our relations that are there, and they may not all be walking in a good path all at that same moment. So, you must be able to touch upon that. Even if it is that you are in that dark place, you know that one of your relations is going to smile at you or is going to share something that will allow for you to come back in to that balance. The days are going to be different. The days are changing. Our attitudes are changing. But allow for the influences to come in also. Be a witness. Allow for a testimonial within your journey by just how you present yourself out into the public, to the family. You're doing good, but let's breathe for a little bit. 
and let's just be silly for a little bit. Five days in, we've got many more days yet. But we've said sunrises, sunsets. And I speak with a flow that comes in from spirit. And I know that as I say this, and as you say words also, let yourself listen to what you are saying. Because you are that grand tool of spirit, that conduit for spirit. So what comes through, it's not for those that you share to, but also for you to listen to. As you listen to that, it brings in clarity, illumination. Each day we're going to bring in a subject matter that comes through that will give us a little bit more reinforcement. But with this little bit that is shared today, let that emanate, radiate from you. Enjoy the area that you're at. Do things that are spontaneous. I honor you. And I know that you're doing the best that you can. And I know that you're doing it. And that's important. You're doing it. And as long as you do that, Spirit is going to smile. And as Spirit smiles, you are blessed. With that, Maham Okyo, Haneke, you have a great day.